If you're looking for the cheapest, and I mean cheapest coins out there to build your God Squad, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable, and make sure you use Cold Wolf to get 3% off. Link is in the description. About a few minutes ago, they released a patch update for Cover 3 in Madden 22. So what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna go over the plays that I've shown you so far, maybe like three of them, to see if they still work. However, I already know if they work or not, but I'm gonna show you guys another adjustment that we can make to really just break Cover 3 again. It's, come on, man. You, you fix one thing, you break another. I'm the money play master, I'm the glitch master. Minutes after you release the patch, I, I'm already on your next, bro. Okay, shout out to the game changers, bro. I'm changing the game. All right, here we go, man. Check this out. We're in the Saints playbook because it's the one that I use. Now, let's go ahead and talk about wing slot offset. I put my fast wide receiver off to the left. Actually, make sure you guys drop a like on today's video. Become a member of the Wolfpack. Now, one of the one play TDs I'm going to show you in here, the full scheme is in the member section. It's from the Saints playbook. It's very powerful. I use it in my gameplays a lot. So make sure you check it out. But the first one we're going to talk about right here is the wing slot offset. Name of the play was the wheel post drag. Now, I think I'm on the wrong hash. We got to get to the left hash. Now, you're going to see that the defense actually play, does play a little bit better. But with one of the patch notes, what I read was the outside third, if there's no immediate threat or a threat in this area, it will know to jump back and guard routes coming from the left to the right. So right here, you have a route that's on the left going to the right. However, the B route is still considered a, th a threat to the outside third and cover three. So all we're going to do, like, like I've shown you guys before, is put Y on the street, block the running back, double team the right side guy, and then we're going to try to launch the cover three over here. Now, where this, where the cover three actually shines, I can't believe Brown cannot beat this guy. That was insane. Okay, that that's that Brown can't couldn't beat that. Come on, bro. That's crazy. So the what, what's happening is is not only is is that happening with the outside third, but the middle third is actually playing it a little bit better but it's still not enough for like players like brown bro see whenever we get the leverage we're still able to complete this one play touchdown very easy by still using the same setups before the patch so this is a post patch updated video that just came out recently i'm talking about minutes ago and i made sure i updated my xbox to make sure that we had all the proper information you're going to see we can still throw this one play touchdown you'll see that middle third actually plays a little bit better but when you're using receivers like brown it doesn't matter now the next one that i use a lot in the game is going going to be from the strong formation this one is the one where i would bait my opponent in my gameplays with stretch and then i would come through with pa post shot so what i would do with stretch is i would take my tight end motion him out and then run stretch okay that's how i would do it after i ran stretch and get him to see what i'm doing i'll keep the play action and put b on a streak like this okay we're motioning out the A route. Now, the A route is still considered a threat to the outside third. So guess what? He's going to still play it by the time he jumps back. It's too late. And I don't know what he's doing. We're going to go into instant replay. But I don't know what he's doing as far as realizing that he needs to jump back. But it looks worse than it did before. I don't know. This just looks weird to me, bro. Like the way he does it now. The way he does it now is he'll actually like come inside and then go up. Inside and then go up but he's still too far away from the play, doesn't matter. So this play right here still works with the same setups. Uh, if you're new to the channel, man, just go through the channel. All the stuff I dropped for you guys is really good. You just have to go through the channel and find it right here again. Just wait for him to cross that uh, middle third. Once he crosses the middle third, I just hit him right here and we almost got the one play touchdown. But you guys see, these are the plays that I use online. You'll see them in my gameplays consistently because no one knows how to stop them. No, no one really knows what they're doing against them. And these plays beat everything. It's not just cover three. And since they didn't touch cover two or cover four, this play is still gonna work just as good against those. I don't know why Lamar Jackson does that, bro. That's just ever since the other patch, my quarterback, is he's just not playing the same no more. Uh, but I'm still gonna be using the Ravens because I will take that little penalty for everything else that Lamar can do. You know what I mean? All the, the the scrambling and stuff like that, I will take that over anything else. So right here, he does it right. Boom. One play touchdown. Now, where the patch does affect a play, and it's the one from the scheme, and I'm going to teach you guys just how to beat it now. And you know what? Matter of fact, I don't even know if this would still work. Hold on. Let me see something. It may be hash specific. Let me just try something real quick. It might be hash specific. There's no threat that way. Okay, yeah, he's playing it closer. See what I'm saying? You have to motion the tight end out. Okay, so let me go ahead and move the ball this time. We're gonna respot the ball this way. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to run the one from the scheme that's in the member section. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. I've already put this in a public video for the one play touchdowns. But if you want the whole scheme in the member section, wing stack, PA fork, cover three. Now, being that that there is no threat to the right side and we streak B motion out brown, right? Being that there is no threat, the outside third can actually play this a lot better. So if you're a member and you're watching Look at this. You see how he plays it a lot better? That's too dangerous. However, the money play master, you guys know how we roll on this side of town. The only new adjustment we're going to do is we're going to put B on a streak, motion him out. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to put RB on a curl route. Okay, you guys, this is how we used to glitch out cover four. It still kind of works. And the curl routes actually work against cover two. But all they did now was they moved it to cover three, meaning not only is it going to help versus cover two, not only is it going to help versus cover four, but now it's going to help against cover three. And when you run it this way, watch the outside third. Now he hesitates. He sits low. And that's all I need to complete this pass and get a lot more space for that cover three beater. So let me show you guys again. As long as you're not getting insta shedded off the line with play action, you can run it the way I'm running it. But if you're getting shedded off the line with play action, don't do it. So RB on a curl route while you're on the right hash is going to help you throw this one play tutty. So you'll see right here, he doesn't know what to do. By the time he realizes it, it's too late. I got Brown coming over the right side. Easy one play. Well, it's supposed to be a one play touchdown. Now, tight off set tight end. I want to say, if you're not looking for the one play tutties, and I haven't tried this yet, this is going to be the first time, but we want to come to tight off set tight end and we want to come to the play called Y out, out swing. I want to see just how well this one plays the corner route. And then we'll go to the bunch side where the bunch people were using the bunch play. So what's happening here now is our corner route is getting extremely open now. So we're going to have to move into the tight offset tight end for some of our money plays just because of how ugly it gets open now. So not only did they and that that animation's got to go, man, we need a patch update like for that. OK, take that out the game, please. So as you can see, boom. Bro, can I throw that? Bro, could I have thrown that one play touchdown? Here, let's try that. Let's try that. Double streaks. Okay, that guy glitched. Nah, you can't really throw that. But you do have your corner route, and it's going to be wide open with this new patch. Corner routes are going to be crazy, but the one from the tight offset tight end is going to be the best because of everything you can do with it. I mean, this is tight offset tight end. You guys know how we roll already. It's just going to be ugly open every single time against cover three. It's going to be one play that I start using now because now I can because I didn't really like it. It's why you really didn't see it in my gameplays because I just didn't like it. Like I didn't like the way it was. Now, what we could try is motioning out Brown and seeing if uh, the outside third recognizes the Y route as a threat. So we motion him out. Boom. Does he recognize him as a threat? He does. And Lamar just didn't throw it right, but it's all good. I think you have to motion out Brown. If you don't motion out Brown and you streak this guy and do this, it might not work the same. Let's let's see. I don't think it works the same, bro, to be honest with you. Yeah, see? No, oh, actually. OK, no, this is probably worse now, bro. Oh, no, this this might be worse. They might have really messed it up this time. Oh, no. Let's try it one more time. They may have broke the game. Let's see the way he the way he reacted. That didn't look healthy at all. Oh, no, this doesn't look right at all. Brown, why are you stopping? I don't know. It might be my controller's messed up. It might be time to get another controller. Let me come to instant replay. Let's just check this out real quick. Outside third, the updated outside third. Look what he's doing now, man. I don't even have to move Brown now. I don't have to motion him out. Look, he's stuttering because the I don't know. Like He's having trouble trying to figure out who, who his priority is. And by the time he does it, it's too late. It's too late. Now, throwing that on the run is probably going to be better. I'm going to try to throw this on the run to see if I get a better uh, better animation. So I'm going to stick in the pocket, and I'm going to follow Brown to the outside. Well, actually, he, he reacted pretty good on that one. It's just a pennant. However you read it, however you see it. If that outside third don't move, then you, do, then you uh, go that way. Now let's try bunch, OK? We'll try a bunch and see if that vertical route still works that a lot of people throw. This is probably the most popular cover three beater is the bunch. And I want to say 
Okay, I want to say this is what they really paid attention to as far as nerfing is this play because they know this is what people are really running. Uh, streaking RB, and then you want to wait. The middle third actually doesn't glitch out now, but that's match defense. So let's try it again against a regular zone. The match is probably going to match to it all the time. Let's try it against another one. This one's perfect. Okay, so he's actually playing it right. Still kind of matching though. So they did nerf that play, I guess because it was the most popular play, but the ones that I use, they're not nerfing. They're not nerfing the ones I use. And what I think they're doing, bro, honestly, what I think they're doing, I can't believe cover three, this, this route over here is getting open now. Since they patched it, it's like this route is getting open. Okay, here we go again. I mean, yeah, so they patched it, but it may be predetermined coverage. So if they see that you're using that setup or you're, you're using this play in general, it's already designed to play like they did the empty white saint. It's the same thing. So as you can see, man, the patch did improve a little, but the plays I still use work really well. Matter of fact, now that I'm thinking about it, what about streaking and curling? Let's see what this does. Okay, yeah, it don't do much. All right, so there's that. Make sure you guys drop a like. Love you guys, man.